What's going on to you, Aries? Okay, so there's a link in the comment section below um, called the Linktree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website which has all the ways to financially support the channel so I can most definitely keep the show going. Listen, um, I have everything from private tarot readings, bird chart readings. Um, I also do, I also teach you the tarot yourself. And uh, yeah, I have books that are, are available on Amazon. Shout outs to everybody that has come through. Shout outs to everybody that will in the future. So for you, Aries, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Queen of Swords. You don't have the Emperor in this particular read, but it still doesn't make it insignificant, right? It's still very much so significant to you and what's going on. Because you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Death card, and you have the Queen of Swords. So um, <clears throat> what I'm seeing here is, is that a lot of you uh, Aries are just thankful for the position that you're in. The Knight of Pentacles represents you've actually put yourself out here the way that you wanted to, and that you're finally feeling like you're getting off on the correct foot. In other words, you know, in other words, when you were younger, maybe things didn't necessarily go your way. People would tell you so much that, you know, you were hard headed, you were rash, you made a lot of fast decisions and you would end up having a lot of fallouts with other people. And because of it, you would have um, an issue with that. But now a lot of you Aries have learned to calm down. You learn to be a little bit more or, or a lot more patient. You actually realize that it's not, it's not, you're not stupid. You Aries are not dumb. What it is, is, is that it's your frustration that was getting in the way of your progress. And now a lot of you Aries, <clears throat> excuse me, now a lot of you Aries are actually putting your best foot forward. Okay. So you're putting, you're coming off in a way where people don't even necessarily know what zodiac sign you would be because of the fact that you're so calm, cool, collected. And a lot of the times Aries really have two main temperaments anyway. And the two main temperaments obviously are being very cool, calm, collected, or angry, you know? And a lot of the times people would just have this ideology that because you're an Aries, right? Especially if they're into astrology, they would think that you're just a raging hothead when they don't really actually want or even care to, to understand People, are, especially in today's world, people take so much pride in trying to get other people upset. I don't know. I don't know what they think the prize is in trying to enrage or aggravate other people. Then when the, then when the other person doesn't want to have anything to do with them, now it's like they're surprised about this, and it's like, hey, you know, nothing personal. But people in the past may not have necessarily dealt with you because you have you may have <clears throat> created a reputation for yourselves of being uh, hot headed. But now that's not how it is that you Aries are. You still have the temper. You know, obviously, you still have the ability to get mad. But the way that your temper is has completely changed. So you still have the ability to get mad. That's just natural. You know, anger is a natural emotion. But this time, you're a lot more responsible. And because of it, you're able to put your best foot forward and be way more calm and, and patient and the ability to actually make very good choices regardless. Now, this is important because this is very important because a lot of you Aries start a lot of projects. See, the cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, uh, uh, Capricorn, Libra, starts a lot of projects, but it doesn't necessarily mean that y'all will finish because cardinal signs start projects, fixed signs um, sustain or maintain the projects, right? And mutable signs finish the projects. So they actually, they actually come to a book end. So the reason why it is I'm saying that is because the cardinal signs, like I was just talking about, start projects. For you, Aries, Y'all start projects, but y'all sometimes y'all don't finish it because of your frustration. The frustration can get in the way. For Capricorn, the patience can get in the way, right? The time that it takes and how you have to be diligently working at something for a long period of time 
to actually start to see the fruits of your benefit. For Aries, excuse me, for Cancer Crabs, it's, you know, it's their emotions that's getting in the way and their inability to, their inability, right, and the kind of the interactions and the relationships that they create with others can kind of ruin it for them, right? Where they rub a lot of people the wrong way and people don't want to be on their team. And then last but not least for Libra, they can start projects and, and not finishing them because they're because sometimes they can get lazy. Sometimes they could be like, oh, well, why should I finish what I started? Because they don't want to actually finish anything. So you needed to know all of that. So for you, Aries, you're putting your best foot forward so that you can start projects and actually finish it, actually see the fruits of your benefit, right? Now, the death card and the queen of swords, right, is is the way the way that you once was, basically. So it's like the queen of swords represents, like I, I'm, I'm kind of ahead of myself in a sense that the queen of swords represents the way you once were, being super suspicious, upset, impatient, the death, wherever it is, whenever it is that I get the death card, the death card always represents an abrupt change, an abrupt end. It represents victory. It represents trampling over a situation where the situation needed a conqueror's energy. And the situation that needed trampling over, like I said, was your frustration, <clears throat> was your temper. So... I see that a lot of you heirs are very much so victorious just in a lot of different areas and facets in your life, monetarily, business-wise, uh, uh, relationship-wise, right? In a, in a sense of being able to actually socialize with people in a better way because Aries and Cancer Crab both have that problem, right? The problem is with, the problem is with being able to relate to others as to where Capricorn and Libra is more about endurance. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of you, you realize that you could even relate to people a lot better. And I'm getting ahead of myself because the Nine of Wands now and the Justice represents how that whole ideology of, you know, putting the cart before the horse and wanting the, the destination too much and not, and not, the ability to actually learn the game, learn the business. Learning the business is what keeps you in business. Learn, you know what I mean? Learning a skill is what keeps you being able to actually get money regardless of whether the market is down or whether the market is up, whether people are willing to buy or, or not. You have the ability to adapt. You have the ability to become what it is that people want in the regard of being a business person. And the justice represents all you needed to do was just look at it, right? Pull from your opposite polarity of Libra. The air signs know how to relate. The air signs know how to adapt. You understand what I'm saying? Earth signs learn how to do that as time go on. But, you know, the opposite, the opposite elements pull from their polarity as well because they're opposite polarities, or I should say opposite, not po opposite polarity, same thing, but opposite uh, elements. So air with water, air with earth, you know, it's gonna, not, not air with water, excuse me, fire with water, air with earth. So they're able to actually pull from their opposite polarities because of the fact that their they're opposite, their opposite um, elements they're able to gain something from each other from observing one another. Air signs learning how to be more uh, enduring. Earth signs learning how to relate to others a lot better so that they can get the outcome that they want. Not sending someone off of using mind games to control other people, but being able to understand what other people want. And that's what Libra does. That's what the air signs do. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that's what it is that they do. And you Aries, being the exact opposite of Libra, you're able to now do that to where you can actually interact with others and become what they want. 
So I'm saying that to say that a lot of you Aries are now able to, because this is more of business. This A lot of you Aries are now able to, you're doing great when it comes to your job. You're doing great when it comes to your career, when it comes to relationships too, knowing how to understand people and their natures a lot better. So even from a friendship and even a relationship standpoint, you're able to understand the person, not just look at them, but also understand them. And because you have that ability to understand them, it's also about how you Aries, um, you're able to read the room a lot better. You're able to move accordingly a lot better because the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, you're able to understand others. So the Wheel of Fortune represents, you're able to actually get off of the, the, this wheel, this, this constant merry-go-round, right? This rat race of what, what is it that you're not getting? Why is it that, you know, you could be running your own business? Why is it that you could be working for a business and, you know, you, how is it that you bring in more sales? How do you become more successful just overall in life in general? And it hits you. Not physically, but you know what I mean. Metaphorically, it hits you. It hit you. You came to the realization of it. You have to be able to know how to calm the temper down and actually learn to communicate a lot better. You have to learn to gain patience and not to be so upset when you when you are met with resistance. That's something that I have that I myself I am learning also, right? Um, I have an Aries moon. So I am learning how to do that too, coming from a place of that temper myself. And it's not me becoming more tired as time goes on. You know, I'm always going to be charismatic, you know, but what it is, is, is that learning that resistance, even though it may frustrate me, resistance, I shouldn't have such a big reaction or a big blow up to resistance to also learn to relax even though I get resistance coming my way. And it's probably the same thing for you, Aries. So the Nine of Pentacles now, I didn't realize I talked for that long. So the Nine of Pentacles now represents how, um, so, and it is benefiting you. The Nine of Pentacles, it is most definitely benefiting you. You're seeing that, you know, every now and again, you can have a blow up if that's what it is that you want. Like it is, I said before, anger is a natural thing. You shouldn't have to feel shame for that. And that's another thing, too, that I don't agree with when it comes to modern day society. It's you're never supposed to feel upset. And this is and, and I hope YouTube doesn't hit me for this. But this is the reason why it is that we have so many psychopaths and sociopaths and narcissists coming up. This is why it is that so many people are exhibiting narcissistic and psychopathic and sociopathic behavior, because you can't you can't go into a red hot rage. It has to be a gray rage. It has to be you can feel upset, but you always have to repress your anger and stuff that down and 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 sit on that. You know, like you sit on a chair or something like that. And it has to be up underneath. So what is that you do? Now you got all these people basically who want to be able to to let their frustrations out, right? and just be left alone and let their frustrations out. But then but then they are shamed if they do it. So what do they do? They are, they are taught like a psychopath. They are taught, be calm, be cool. And as long as you don't get frustrated, you can, you can send people off, you can manipulate, you can run game, you could do this, but you can't bug out. And it's like, and, and no wonder why you have a society that's that's exhibiting psychopathic behavior you know so i'm here to let you aries understand that you know you i'm here to let you aries know and understand that you can have you can be frustrated you can show visible frustration because this society really doesn't pay attention to what it is that it's communicating in that sense they want people to be healthy or they give off the impression that they want people to be healthy but then if you if you show any kind of any signs of frustration, people go all off and take it too far, and they take it to the extreme. Are you okay? 
are you all right? Are you good? They start, they start handling you like you've gone completely off the rails. And it's like, yo, like I'm just exhibiting a natural emotion, which is called anger. Like, what are you doing? What, what is up? I'm going to be okay. I'm, I'm all right. I'm okay. I, listen, I'm okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead, pick myself up and I'll be right back on the horse. What's up? Oh, you know, they, they, you know, they got to put you on pills. They got to act like just, just mad extreme and stuff. So, but anyway, nonetheless, I see a lot of you Aries benefiting from the new cool, calm, the new cool, calm head that you have, but you will 99% of the times maintain your calm composure. What does this have to do with anything? This has, this, this reading is about your development. This reading is about how your ability to now keep your, your, your patience and be patient and, and be able to wait. Because when you're impatient or when you get upset about a lot, you also become, you also don't like to wait. So you're seeing how it is that it's working for you in every different area of your life from being able to, to talk to people being able to see through others, whether they mean you well or whether they don't, whether they, whether being able to interact with other people, right? Potentially even start up relationships to get money based upon your ability to communicate with others and have people respect you a lot more because of the fact that you're able to keep a cool, calm head up underneath pressure the ability to 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 use that intelligence and not let the frustration cloud that intelligence of yours. So you're seeing the benefit, which is what the Nine of Pentacles is implying. The Four of Wands now and the Seven of Cups now represents. Now, when it comes to the area of love, you Aries have to understand that that's, you know, that's something where that's ironically, that's the majority of what is out that's what that's should that should be people's middle name trying to get you frustrated and upset that's what the s tests are about that's part of what it's about doing terrible things to you to get you upset this is why it is i said it's stupid because it's it's like what are you doing they trolling you they don't even know you and and and, and that's the stupidity of it what is the point of trying to get upset someone what what is the point of trying to frustrate and get someone upset like i don't understand what what is the reward in that like oh you mad this that and the third and gaining like and you guys like and i me personally anybody who's who thinks that trying to get somebody upset for a living you're a jerk off <laughs> straight up and down like you're a jerk off you, you, I don't care what anybody says. There's, I mean, there is literally no common sense in that. The idea of what you trying to get somebody frustrated to do what exactly to make you feel good. Like, how do you feel? Like, I don't even understand. Like, where's the, where's the reward in it? Like, you trying to get somebody frustrated? Like I don't, I don't know, bro. Like I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't, I can't, I don't see it. But whatever. So a lot of you Aries have to understand to not react when when you are interacting romantically, because I'm seeing that, I'm seeing that like when it comes to your romance, right? When it comes to your love life, I'm seeing that. You may want a, a loving relationship, but you Aries are experienced enough to know that more often times than not, that's not going to, more often times than not, you're not going to find someone that really wants a peaceful, loving relationship. They're going to try to throw curveballs your way because once again, for some reason, I don't know what this society has this unnatural obsessive fixation with trying to frustrate people and then punishing people when their natural reaction is to get mad, which is what they wanted in the first place. 
and then trying to coach you into being a psychopath. No, you can't feel frustration even though I'm doing the things to very much so by definition frustrate you. You have to express frustration, but without showing visible anger. So it's like, so you're grooming the person to being a psychopath. By definition, that's what you're doing because psychopaths don't necessarily show frustration with their, with their facial expressions and go around smashing stuff. Psychopaths choose to get even through harming the person, but, but third party harm, proxy violence. So it's like, okay, it, I, it's the dumbest stuff in the world. So the, but the seven of cups represents a lot of you Aries will just have a brand new perspective. Your whole perspective on different things, on relationships specifically has changed. If a person frustrates you and they're looking to, to, to troll you, you'll just go off and talk to somebody else. Like the idiocracy is not really working for you. So I'm glad that it isn't working for you. You Aries really do deserve someone great like you.